My favorite rapper scammed me. You know, this is a tragic story for me. It's a story when my idol, my lord and savior, the person I worship, scammed me. They say never meet your idols, but I'd say never even buy a shirt from them. Anyways, it all started a couple years ago. I was scrolling on Instagram when I saw my favorite rapper wearing a shirt with the logo and the words bring walk back. Talking about activists, of course, the candy that Justin Bieber got banned. And I thought to myself, hmm, let me check this out. Oh, I want to be cool. Let me buy this. So I waited for my mom to get distracted and did the race to her purse and stole her credit card. I went online and bought the shirt, bring walk back. So I just sat back and waited. One day passed, one week, one month. Never making merch again. People always ruining my stuff. About to blow a bag on hella machines and do it myself. And I was like, no, not my bring walk back merch. Okay, so I didn't actually get scammed. That wasn't obvious because I'm not a dumbass. I wouldn't even give you the chance, but a lot of people did a lot. And you know, most people feel bad for people that get scammed. And that's usually valid because if an old lady is getting taken advantage of, they just really don't understand how stuff works sometimes. But when Timmy or Eugene thought they were going to get a feature from Can Can or Summers, I struggled to think, damn, poor kid. He thought he was going to get Can Can's lean method. Most people just get mad at the rappers. And you know, that part is understandable. But if you have more than a couple brain cells, you'd think twice about buying something from a rapper who raps about scamming people. And I'm not talking about fraud, I mean literally scamming. How do you even feel bad for these fools? Like, like why would you buy anything from these people? Nah, I'm just kidding guys. I actually heard Can Can makes really good vegan pastries. But you know, you're feeling bad for people getting scammed by others who are openly admitting they scam. Openly admitting they scam. That's why I personally put more blame on Eugene than the actual rappers. Because it's almost common behavior for underground rappers to scam for stuff as small as a $5 repost, which I still don't understand. Like, do you think you're Beyonce or something? That repost wasn't going to do anything for the guy who bought it off you, bro. But, you know, they're probably just lazy to type in the name of the song and press a button. Anyways, let's go over some fans exposing, quote unquote exposing, because, you know, it's, it's just common knowledge at this point. Rappers are scamming. All right, what's this? Oh, does Can Can scam with features? I always see him selling opens and features, LMAO. Is that shit real or is he scamming people with them too? I don't know why anyone would trust junkies on Instagram in the first place. Y'all lost y'all composure. It's so funny because he says he loves his fans and that he's got crazy supporters but then proceeds to scam them. Ken got me for $50. All right, you know, I don't even want to respond to those comments because this thread is a bit older. But you know, if you have to ask whether someone scams for features, this might come as a huge shocker to some of you. They probably scam for features. This one is titled, Summer's Scammer. So I know Autumn's Retribution merch ended up taking payments and never shipped out. And I also know Can Can be using fake methods 24 seven, but apparently it just came out that Summer's has been scamming too for promos and stuff on his story. What y'all think? I'm pretty sure dude about exposed Summer's. Okay, buddy, you're not exposing anybody. Summer's literally has a song called Love Scamming, which is about fraud, allegedly. But do you really think that people whose conscience isn't hurt by taking someone else's money digitally through those means will feel bad for you because you thought you were going to get a lean method? Like, bro, I don't know how any of these people trust these guys with their money. Scanned by Summer's for 150 USD. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Be happy, I'm selling you a $10,000 worth song for 150. Okay, that's W marketing for Summer's. You guys just don't learn. Yeah, it's common knowledge at this point. You're a dumbass OMG. Dog, you just dumb. This is one of the most retarded examples of scamming I've ever seen. He thought that Summers was about to send him unreleased music. Like, how dumb can you get? It's messed up how everyone's saying do better, dumbass. Blah, 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 blah. It just shows how they can get away with the shit. And they got their fans that are meat riding. No one is meat riding. It's just the level of common sense a lot of people don't have. And then they get mad at the person openly admitting to their activities. So I feel like everyone's acknowledging they're not like the best human beings. They're just saying you're dumb for not realizing that. No one's like, oh, wow. W oh, wow. Summers, you're so cool. You're scamming your fans. It's not like that. Autumn scamming a fan. Not me in the pics. Not me in the pics. Yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> okay. Not you. Uh huh. $135. dollars Autumn, like damn, I know you've seen that 135 I sent to you. So you're not gonna respond? You replied to their story. All right, yeah, it's over for you, bro. Yeah, we still gonna stream this retard and give his bitch ass money. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, not about the retard part. I'm sure he's, he's a smart guy. I meant that, yeah, everyone's still gonna stream them. <laughs> like no one cares, bro. 
Are Summers and Can Can broke? I feel like they're not really pushing their music that hard anymore. And it's always just story promos, reposts, and BOA and Wells Fargo stuff. BOA stands for Bank of America. Do they really be making that much scamming? Like, I don't even know. I'm hella confused. They probably spent all their money on codeine, and that's not even far fetched. Wouldn't be surprised. Can Can got scammed. What you messing with? You haven't heard of the Cash App glitch? Nah, twin, what's that? It's a new wave. Send me your number and your cash tag, and I got you. Bet. How much you got in your Cash App right now? I got a little 40K in there right now. Do it matter? Nah, is that the same? number you use for the cash app account bet watch this just hit me twin yo i tried calling you back my number don't work anymore swear yeah is that supposed to happen yeah yeah gang yeah gang just chill it logged me out of my account what say you swear uh i can't say that word and he shows a screenshot of forty thousand. is this your account bitch ass you think you did something i can easily call and get my account back people think they sweet because they know how to sim swap you're a jace ass Karma. Bro is trusting random people on the internet. I don't know why. This is too funny. So yeah, basically it came out that Kankan was scammed for 40k. He actually didn't get scanned for anything. It was all made up. It's not real. It would have been kind of funny, you know, if he if he actually got scanned. But yeah, he's not like stupid or anything. So the reason I went over these threads, with the exception of the last, is just to show you the stupidity of some of these fans. And it's really hard for me to feel bad for them. Of course, there's some innocent fans that aren't familiar with the underground or their antics. But this issue stems deeper than a repost or Kankan's lean method. It's quite common across all parts of the internet. There's scammers in every industry willing to take your money and it's not always them literally stealing your money they could have just brainwashed you into thinking their course or online academy will make you rich so at the end of this video i just want you to remember you got to do your homework whenever you're spending money online and if it sounds too good to be true it's not also i just wanted to say i don't actually condone scamming i just want people to use their common sense you know bye